beautiful pair of skunks. Good size skunks, you know, not the biggest ones I've ever caught. Good size skunks. Nice breeding pair. So, yeah, guys. Plants not doors. Stick guys, with us. Two for two. No spray. Heck yeah. So, that one dispatched perfectly fine. Dispatched perfectly fine. No spray on either one. So, that's awesome on a good size breeding pair of skunks. All I'm using, guys, is a Ruger Wrangler. Uh, you know, it's just the same thing as the single sixes, but they've made them cheaper so that you can, you know, they're, they're Cerakoted, uh, some aluminum parts. Uh, they're just not as, as nicely made, uh, but you can get them for under $200, brand new. And uh, I use this. I'm on the trap line all the time. Now you see CI shorts. And these skunks, man, you can use, uh, like, you know, paint thinner in a, you know, in a, in a skunk dispatcher. Um, but you got to get pretty close. And I got to get close with this, but... If you can just hit them in the lungs, like 90% of the time, they won't spray. And on the, the lungs on a skunk, they're way more forward than they are back. Um, almost like under their armpit. So on like a deer, you aim behind the shoulder. Don't do that with a skunk. They're so fatty. And if you can get them stretched out where they can kind of be stretched apart and kind of unfatten themselves a little bit, then you can make pretty good shots on them. Um, especially in dog proofs, if they're pulling that arm, pulling that arm forward, literally put that thing like on their shoulder, it right smack down in the middle of their body, and you'll get a pass through. Even with a twenty-two short, you'll get a pass through. But uh, yeah, you shoot them in the head, they're gonna spray every single time. So we'll go check the other part of the line. We'll get these guys in a little bit. 